Hey, Fran, happy June. Did you miss me? I know you miss me because I miss me. Missing you, you guys missing me. It is the month of June. It's actually smack dab in the middle of June. And earlier today, um, as I was hiking, I hadn't, I thought I was only gonna be walking, hiking for like an hour and a half to two hours. Did not know it was gonna be much, much longer than that. Your girl's feet was tired. But as I was hiking, I realized that one, I hadn't uploaded, um, finished uploading my Africa videos, which I told you I will start back doing that this month. And, uh, but as I was walking um, and hiking and, and dying out there, uh, I thought, I said, you know what? This city is just so gorgeous. There are so many hidden gems in this city of Dalian. And many of us would never ever know about it um, because there's not anybody like really writing about it, or at least I haven't found anyone who's writing about the things that's going on in this city. And um, so I said, whoa, here's an opportunity, you know, for me to be able to do it. And and the the, the man who kidnapped me, a uh, colleague, <laughs> the man who kidnapped me uh, to go on this long hiking trail, we have had quite a few conversations about um, our experience when we, when we would Google the city Dalian and to find out a little bit more about it um, prior to coming and not a lot of information is out there. I mean, there's some information out there, but not enough, not enough. And so I'm going to um, explore. That's the word I was looking for. I'm going to explore uh, this city more and I'm going to be writing about it. You know, this pandemic, um, this pandemic definitely put uh, a damper on my traveling goals for 2020 and for this year. And I know you're probably like, but you went to six different African countries. Like how could that have put a damper? Well, I had a lot more planned. I had a lot more planned. Um, 2020 in the summertime, I was going to do a mini tour of Asia, like Southeast Asia. Didn't get to do that. Won't get to do that this year. Possibly not even next year. Just, you know, the way how now we have the Delta strain of, of the coronavirus and it's just, it's a lot. And so um, I was, I was bummed out about that friend. I was bummed out. I really was I bummed and and then after having this uh, conversation with my colleague and, you know, he was like, well, we live in a great country. It's big enough. You know, um, you can explore this country. You're absolutely correct. So this year for the rest of 2021, um, I plan to really focus more on the city that I'm in. Um, I'll also be in Hangzhou, possibly. I'm still I'm still really praying about that one, <laughs> but more than likely I'll be in Hangzhou uh, for a couple of weeks this, this summer. And so I'm going to go back and write about the city that I loved first in China. Um, I still, Hangzhou will always have a, a special place in my heart. Believe that. Okay. Um, but going back there. So between Hangzhou, we are planning to go to Sanya, uh, which is like a beach type of like an I think it's maybe like an island or a beach type of city um, in China. Um, we're planning to do that in August. So I have three cities primarily that I do plan to focus on for this year in China and next year. Um, and actually I might even, you know, cause the thing that I love about my university, uh, one of the things that I love about my university is that we have uh, really, really nice vacation dates. We have really nice vacation days, a lengthy amount of time. And so um, possibly this year I can continue to go to see and ex uh, explore other Chinese cities as well. Definitely, I will be doing that next year too. And then depending on you know the situation with the pandemic, that will determine whether, whether or not I will finally get to go tour Southeast Asia and um, head over to a few other countries as well. But without thinking so far into the future and, you know, becoming disappointed uh, about not being able to do um, any international travel because y'all know what I had to go through just to get here. You think I'm going to lead a country again and have to do that all over again? Nah, <laughs> no, 
Mm -mm. My colleague is right. Like China is a very, 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 very large country. Okay. It's a large country and there's so many different things that I can do and explore and share with you all about. So I'm definitely going to do that. Um, and also I took a little bit of footage from the hike today. Uh, the one that I said I was dying from <laughs> when I was walking y'all, he took, we walked 7.22 miles. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. My toes were not expecting that. They did. Okay. Just I gotta. Re I literally have to go and revive and resurrect my toes with the foot bath. So, yeah. Uh, but I did take some. Uh, I did capture a little bit of footage, and I would like to share that with you all. And um, yeah, so here is some footage from the hike that I did earlier today with my colleague Jeff. Like I told you, one of the reasons why I love my city is it has the best of everything that I love. I love mountains. You see the mountains outside of my windows every single day. And I also love the sea. I love the ocean. I love beaches uh, and I love clouds. And here, look at this, look, look at this. What? Look at this. I laugh at that, Jeff. <laughs> Hadn't thought about that, huh? <laughs> Thanks a lot. Wow. You didn't believe me. This is more retired people, right? <laughs> you didn't believe me. Sing, baby. Sing, daughter. Y'all, Jeff done kidnapped me. Let me tell you something. I thought we was just gonna be out an hour and a half, maybe two hours. It's been three days. Came from my legs. My toes is screaming. And he told my son, keep going, let's go. I said, Jeff, I don't like you no more. I don't like you no more. I, I love you a little bit, but I don't like you right now. You gotta give me about 72 hours to replenish my like for you. Once my legs recover. Oh, dear God. as we walked along, I was like, wow, these are, these are places that I've never seen before. And I've been living here since 2019. And he's only been here like for a few months and he's actually getting ready to go back to Sujo, but he's only been here for a few months and he's already found all of these beautiful places. And so it just really put me in the mind frame of like maximizing my season in China, maximizing my time in China. And it would be it would be a shame. It would be a disgrace for me to be here all this time and never see or explore many of the beautiful places that um, are really truly hidden gems here in this country and not share it with the world. So that's what Doctora the Explorer is going to be focusing on for the rest of 2021 and 2022. Um, and uh, also, like I said, I will be coming to your inboxes, y'all. It's the end of the semester. Um, so there's a lot of work that has been done, but I'm, I'm so grateful that you all have still been, you know, rocking with me throughout this time. Uh, I, I am getting to the place. I think I said this before, maybe like a, about a month or so ago, but I'm getting to the place to where I am almost emotionally ready to share the footage from, uh, from when I was in quarantine. Um, I'm, I'm really hoping that, that I am ready, uh, between July and August. So I am kind of working on that, just building myself up for it. Hopefully by August, you guys, I will be ready to share that with you all. Um, the footage you have, you know, you've, you've read the, the, the blog and seen, you know, step by step day by day as I was going through everything, but the footage is a completely different thing to tackle. So at any rate, I just wanted to pop into your inboxes and also to, you know, add this blog post to say that, um, you know, I think Dr. The Explorer is going to be doing a lot more um, video content and also um, audio content. And we'll try to snag in a, a couple of um, 
text, you know, a little bit of text every now and then, definitely some photos. So you guys will definitely be seeing from me again. My home, we're gonna be doing a, um, a home tour, okay? I am gonna be doing a home tour. I'm actually trying to decide if I should do the home tour live, like walk through each, you know, with live video, walk through each room and show you guys everything live so you can comment on it. Or if I should just, you know, record it, edit it and show you guys only the things that I think that you should see instead of, you know, doing everything live. So uh, let me know, should I do the home tour live, like stream live and show you everything and let you guys kind of have this real time talk with me? Or should I just do like regular, you know, regular YouTube video style where you just, you know, you record, you edit, and then you put it out there. So I want to hear from you guys. All right. Thanks friend for tuning in and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.